I think we'll make a start for today. So welcome to our webinar on how precision online timesheets can benefit your recruitment agency. So the topics that we're going to talk through today are the benefits of online timesheets, how to use them, the contractor experience, and then finally the client experience. Just to start off by introducing myself, I'm Betty and I work here at Giant Group as part of the marketing team, especially focusing on our events and webinars. Um, during this session, please feel free to ask questions via the Q&A function at the top of your screens. Today, our keynote speakers are firstly Chris Hewer, Head of Client Management. He's been with Giant Finance Plus for over 10 years and is responsible for the overall service delivery to our portfolio of clients here at Giant Finance Plus. Secondly, we have Augusta Mitchell, Customer Delivery and System Executive. In her role, Augusta provides a link between our clients and internal teams to ensure we deliver on our vision of supporting them the best that we possibly can. She reviews client processes, advises on our best practice and aims to make our clients' business processes as smooth as they can be. Without further ado, let's hand over to Chris and Augusta to tell us about online timesheets. Great stuff, thanks, Betty. Um, yeah, um, as uh, as Betty just said, there we're we're really keen to sort of talk more about um, our online timesheet functionality, which for those of you um, who are familiar with us at Giant Finance um, is within our Precision Payroll software. Um, something a lot of our clients use um, and something we've been getting a lot of um, really positive feedback um, on over over recent months, really. Um, the sort of up, upsides that we're seeing and, and feedback that we're getting um, is really around time saving um, and reducing admin um, and freeing up your time um, as an agency to, to focus on on what you want to do, which is ultimately finding finding business, winning business and getting those contractors through the doors. Um, the other side um, of that is actually from the contractor side. Um, contractors do like having a simple login. They can put their hours in when they want during the week um, and submit those uh, when they're ready. Um, and on that side, on the submitting side, your client um, also, the feedback we're getting there, really easy, can log in one screen um, can see all the information they need and either accept or reject um, that that timesheet. Um, and it's all easily trackable um, from, from Precision. Um, so what we're going to do, um, Augusta um, is going to do a bit of a demo. Um, we're going to talk through as, as we go and ask some questions and hopefully you'll, you'll get a really good feel for, for what this is about um, and how easy it is to use really and how easy it is to implement into your um, week to week um, payroll routine. Um, so I guess should we start by having a quick look at how um, online timesheets are set up um, and, and getting them underway? Yeah, so I'll just share my screen so you can see the setup for online uh, timesheets. So to set up online timesheets on a candidate, you do this by the assignment details screen. So you just need to select an online timesheet type and then add an authorizer and then select also an authorization method. And then after that, your online timesheets are set up for that candidate. So that August is on a that could be a candidate that's perhaps been working for a number of weeks or months and is moving to online timesheets tomorrow, say. So it's as simple as, as simple as that. Yeah. Um, just um, in terms of the data available, that um, one of the things, um, obviously you enter a bill rate and a pay rate. Um, we know our clients are keen that the bill rate isn't shared with the candidate. Well, I'm assuming they can't see that information. No, so the candidate can only see the rate description and then if they go into their assignment details, they only see their pay rate. They won't see any billing for the client. Great, okay, that's perfect. So what? So the timesheet types there, um, are there are there different ones? Or am I restricted to using just the one? So there are different types you can use for online. So if you're paying your candidate weekly, you can use an hourly timesheet here, the 1114, or a day rate one, which is 1116. If you're paying your candidates monthly, you can do the four weekly or the calendar monthly type. So those are the main four types that are used for online. Perfect, okay. Um, 
So how do I how do I ensure that my um, timesheets are available for um, authorization? Who where does that go? Who who can authorize those timesheets? So when you're setting up the online assignment, uh, there'll be a primary authorizer box here where you can add authorizers through the add button, just entering the name and the email. Or if you've already got other authorizers on that data, you can pick them from a drop down list. And then once you've picked your authorizer, we also suggest adding a secondary authorizer in cases where the primary one isn't available or on annual leave. And then you'll need to select an authorization method type. So you can method one is all authorizers must authorize in order of primary to tertiary. Method two is all have to authorize in any order. And method three, which is the one we suggest you use, is that any authorizer can authorize and it just requires one for the timesheet to process. Perfect. Really, uh, really flexible um, with the options there. Um, yeah. OK, that's great. So um, if I'm using paper timesheets uh, or have been using paper timesheets, obviously I know when I've got that timesheet, I know when it's signed. Um, how do I get that same information here if um, if the timesheets have been authorised online? So we have the timesheet list available where you can select the status of the timesheets you want to start search for. So you can search for any timesheets that have been authorised, unauthorised, ones that are missing or not submitted. Um, so you can just say you're looking for any that have been entered but have yet to be authorised for last week and this week, and then you hit submit, and it will pull up all records of any timesheets that have been submitted by candidates that are awaiting authorisation by their authorisers. And you can change the status uh, to whatever search you're looking for. Great, OK, perfect. That's that's um, fantastic. Um, OK, um, so that's from um, the, the agency perspective. It really is as simple as that. Um, you've got the setup in um, with the assignment. You've got a list there that you can review your timesheets if they've been submitted, what status they're at. And obviously you can then chase up as as and when needed. Um, so what does what does the contractor see? Should we have a look at um, a contractor portal? Yeah. So when candidates are added to Precision, they'll receive an email from us that has their login details and a link, so they can just follow that to set up their login details where they'll enter their um, online timesheets. Great. OK. Um, so when this is what it looks like when it when you first log in and we can set it for them to have to accept their assignment um, contracts here, but then to enter their timesheet. So they just go to the timesheet tab and then enter timesheet. Brilliant. Can you just um, show us the screen where they can enter the um, the hours? Yeah, thanks. Back date one. Yeah. So it'll come up in a table like this, and then any rates on the assignment will appear in the lines here, and then with the with the description. So say you've got a basic rate, rate like this, and then if you have an overtime one, that would appear down here as well, and then the candidate just simply enters their units for those days. So for this one. Um, they'll be, be able to enter from the first onwards because that's the start date of the assignment. So they can just enter the units like so if they're working weekends and then just submit for online authorization and that's sent to the online authorizer here. And they'll also get confirmation that that's been sent over. And right. also if they're if they realize that they've made a mistake on their timesheets, um, they also have the option to cancel before it is authorized so they can select this. And they'll also get a notification to the authorizer saying that the timesheet's been cancelled. So they know that it's been cancelled and they're waiting a new one. Fine, OK. Um, how do they know they're selecting the right weekend in date so they've, they've worked? So all timesheets will have a period end date drop down here. So they'll be able to enter any backdated timesheets ah, as well. Yeah. Um, it usually, when you first log in, will go to the timesheet of the week that you're looking at. So the one that they are next due to enter. Um, but if they do need to change the period and date, they can just do that using the drop down. Great, thanks, Augusta. Um, so there are, we know there are some of our clients that um, send their contractors out to work at multiple um, clients of theirs um, in one week. Um, they might work somewhere on a Monday, somewhere else on a Tuesday, for example. Um, is it can we? Is is it possible for them to submit timesheets for both? Yeah. So. The assignment will also have a drop down to say they've got two like this. They can switch between them and then also enter a timesheet for the second or whichever assignment they're doing now yeah. um, and then enter those units and then just submit again and it will go to the authorizer. But they can easily change between them on the drop down. Great. OK, that's that's great. Um, 
Is there um, within, so this is a portal, so we're looking at the online timesheet entry um, section of a, a candidate's contractor's portal here. Is there any other information they can see in here that might be of use to them? Yeah, so the Your Data tab that's available to them uh, includes all the information that's on their position profile that you've set up. So their address, their email, their phone number. Um, they also have the opportunity to edit this if needed, uh, as well as their payment details to so say they've updated their bank account. Uh, P45 employee statements, pay slips as well for every week that they're paid. They also have the ability to request holiday pay if they want to. But this whole screen is customizable, so you can choose what your candidates can and can't access. So if you wanted to, say, be the one that requests holiday pay and not have your candidates do it directly, we can remove this option for you. Great. So it really is a one stop shop then for the candidate. They've got, they can enter their timesheets, they can see their pay slips um check that the audio information is correct um so yeah really really useful um bit of insight there um okay i mean the third and final part of this chain if you like is um the client um experience by which i mean um the debtor as we we tend to call them um if we could have a look at their portal and this will show us um what they see when the timesheet has been submitted and is ready for authorization um so it may take a minute to log in here we go um that's great thanks Augusta. so um i mean first of all this is a screen that you log into um <clears throat> that they can check their their timesheets to that they have to authorize how do they get that login information do we have to manually send an email or how, how does it work so when an authorizer is added to an online assignment they'll receive an email with the login details and a link to the portal where they just set up their login and then they can access this portal to authorise timesheets. Um, when they first log in, if they have timesheets outstanding that need to be authorised, they'll appear here in this list. They also do have access to the same timesheet list report as the agency, so they can also check themselves to see what timesheets have and haven't been submitted so they can um, chase up the candidates. Great, brilliant. And that email that goes out, that's automated, isn't it? I think that's from... Yeah just literally by entering their email address in that assignment section. Um, brilliant, okay. So how do they know then there's a timesheet ready to authorise? Is, is there a prompt? So they'll receive an email when a candidate has submitted a timesheet, letting them know that it's waiting in their portal for them to action. Um, and then they can log on and either they will view the timesheet and then either reject or accept. Great, okay. Um, and if if that if they do want to reject that timesheet, um, are they, able to tell the uh, candidate why? Yeah, so when they go in to view the timesheet, um, it will pull up the table that we saw before with the hours entered. Right. Um, <clears throat> so if they see that this timesheet is incorrect, they can select reject. And then they will be prompted to enter a reason. So you can then just put like incorrect hours. And then hit save. And then this will reject the timesheet. And it will also send a notification email to the candidate, letting them know that their timesheet has been rejected and the reason why. So they can then go back into their portal and change what needs to be changed and then submit it again for authorization. Brilliant. That's great. Um, and then obviously, likewise, it is just a case for, they can either authorize from this summary screen, I guess, or by clicking in and viewing the breakdown of the detail. Yeah. Um, great. OK. Um, why if they're. Um, so obviously this this login will go to the line manager who is um, set up to approve timesheets um, for that particular contract. So what if that person's away, not able to do it? So if that person's away, um, we suggest using a secondary authorizer that's set up on the account. But if that hasn't been set up or for some reason they're also away, we can set up delegate authorizers. So we can essentially kind of delegate your login to another email address for them to use yeah. temporarily um, and then we can put a date range on that so say for just like a week that you're away the authorizer can kind of swap with whoever's available and they will authorize um, so yeah that's those are the two kind of options for if the authorizer is unavailable right okay Thank, thanks Augusta I mean I think it's clear there from you know the, the three areas that we've looked at the uh, the recruitment agency the contractor experience and the client it's it really is geared up to be as simplistic as as possible um and you know really should cut down on be and um, will be a significant time saver um for for any any agency using using this with minimal 
um, sort of training or instruction needed, um, albeit we are here to support with that. Um, so thanks, Augusta. I think that's that covers pretty much everything we wanted to cover there. Um, <clears throat> I guess I think that's our um, our little demonstration done. Thanks so much, guys. Um, I'm just going to have a little look in the Q&A function. Um, has anyone got any questions at all? I think that's a no for today. So uh, we will look forward to seeing you. Oh, Andy, got a hand up. Um, could you put your question in the Q&A function? If he's typing, <laughs> can hear the keyboard whirring. Not sure if we're getting a question today. I hear you. Um, I reckon if there is a question, then we can get in touch with you afterwards. We'll pop you an email. I think we've got the question now, Betty, actually. Is it come through? Yeah. Um, on behalf oh, here we of, go. Yeah, on behalf of a client interested, my deadline is currently 1 p.m. Is it longer for this method, please? Um, Augusta, I think the answer to that is yes. Yeah. Um, the, really, really good question. Thanks, Andy. Um, the deadline the, for online is 5.30 p.m. So close of business on a Tuesday. Um, candidates can enter up until 10 p.m. for them to be processed, but we do advise a 5.30 cutoff just so that we're available in the office if there's any issues with online timesheets um, that we're there to help. But yeah, it is a later deadline than bulk upload. Perfect. And uh, we've just got one more question come through. Um, can this be accessed from a mobile phone? Yeah, so candidates can enter their timesheets um, on their phone. As long as they've had their login set up, then they should just be able to log in on their phone and enter their timesheets um, whenever it's easiest for them. Perfect. Thank you so much. I think that concludes all of our questions for today. Um, so we hope you found this session really useful. Please feel free to get in contact and there will also be a recording available. I know some of those processes might be really useful to look back through. Um, but for today, I think that's all from us. So we will see you another day. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye bye.